In today's video, I just wanted to share kind of some of my thoughts on some of the community's feedback in terms of the Madden 24 beta, and also kind of give some speculation about potential metas uh, that are forming in light of the feedback that was given publicly. Uh, the, the primary video that I'm going to be uh, referring to throughout this video is some of the updates that Eric Wayweather uh, provided for us. So I'm going to leave a link to his channel, uh, and I'm also going to leave a link to Civil Premium. Uh, Civil, uh, one of my favorite guys to learn from in the community, and uh, he has just really, really good content. He actually dropped a video as well, kind of talking about some of this stuff. And so, again, just a general speculation about metas. I think this will be the best, um, the best meta that you're going to see or the most meta uh, formation that you're going to see specifically on the offensive side of the ball in light of those two videos. So I'm kind of referencing those two videos. Again, I'll put links to both of them uh, in the in the description. But here's the basic uh, consensus of those two videos came to. So the first one was civil. He said something that I thought was really wise and uh, just really spot on about the beta. He said that the general consensus on the beta is that it is a mixture between Madden 23 and it is a mixture between Madden 20 or uh, Madden 22. So it's kind of a, a, a molding together, if you will, uh, or a fusion of both next gen experiences that we've had. And there is some new stuff that he uh, that he uh, addressed as well. A lot of this was also echoed by uh, Eric Wayweather. Now, in talking about playbooks, one of the things that Eric Ray Eric Wayweather said, uh, really two things. Number one, he said in terms of pass blocking, um, he doesn't notice a significant difference between pass blocking in Madden 24 and pass blocking in Madden 23. This also kind of goes together uh, with some stuff that's been talked about on Twitter in the Madden community that is basically people are trying to wrestle with what is the best blitz going to be? What's the defensive meta going to be? What's the offensive meta going to be? What's the most effective? And, and you might be asking, well, what is a meta, what is a meta matter? Um, a meta matters because it explains it concisely the best way to play offense, the best way to play defense, and it provides this kind of a baseline or a standard that if your offense can't, can't attack the meta defense, it's not really going to be that effective. And if your defense can't attack the meta offenses, then it's not going to really be that effective. So metas provide kind of a foundational, like peak performance knowledge about the general core mechanics of how a game plays. And so in light of that, one of the things that Eric said about playbooks is that EA has taken a significant step to nerfing some of the most popular um, formations in Madden 23. The primary formation, uh, really two formations, that saw a significant reduction in terms of not only effectiveness, but in just flat out plays in general, um, were the two by two compression formations. Tight was meta literally from day one of Madden 23, and it stayed meta the entirety of the season. Another big meta of Madden 23 was basically coming out in a formation like Bunch, and then audibling to a formation uh, to a formation like Tight. So basically, this idea of like we're going to audible around a lot, we're going to um, you know we're going to do all that kind of stuff. And so one of the things one of the things that I wanted to touch on with that is that the audible round meta not quite as effective uh, from what we've heard it takes a little bit longer to do hot routes quarterback throwing animations have changed significantly but another piece of it is that they have reduced the amount of plays that are in gun tight and gun tight offset for example there are certain plays that are no longer in tight offset tight end or tight offset tight end might not might not any longer be in the uh, playbook, I think Eric Way Eric Rayrother said in an interview he actually did with Sybil, ironically, um, that tight offset is no longer in the Saints playbook. And so um, this this causes a significant, I think, thing uh, when we talk about overwhelming meta and why a meta exists and what does a meta do um, in terms of what makes an offense meta. One of the things that makes every offense, no matter what Madden that you've ever played, one of the things that is tried and true about metas is specifically on offense, you have to be able to attack the entirety of the field. So you have to have all of the routes. You have to have post routes and corner routes and wheel routes and seam routes. And you've got to be able to attack all of the space um, on the field that is going to be provided by the defense. Okay. So if they start reducing a lot of the uh, plays that were in the best formation from last year, which was tight offset, that it might be likely to conclude that that formation is not any is no longer going to be at the the creme de la creme or the top of the top, uh, the top of the food chain. So if tight is still a meta, what formation is left 
for, uh, uh, for, for compression. While the other formation is tight, and I, I think it was civil. I can't remember who it was. It might not have been him, or it might have just been in that general conversation between him and Eric Wayweather that I listened to. But one of the creators in the community um, basically said Detroit, uh, Detroit's playbook has changed a little bit as well. So in last year's game, Detroit had the best gun tight. It also had bunch tight end, bunch, and trips tight end. All really, really, really valuable formations. Not only does that, I don't even know that it has tight. I haven't heard that it has tight, but it also doesn't have that combination of, of all of those really, really powerful formations. So that, again, raises the conversation that tight is probably not going to be the number one offense in the game next year. Because not only has it maybe lost some plays, potentially, but also... Um, because depending on what playbook it's in, but also um, another reason why it might not be as meta as it was last year is because now with it being in a, maybe a different formation or different, or, I'm sorry, different playbook, then it might not have all of the pieces to the puzzle. For example, um, if tight's not in Detroit, if Detroit's playbook has changed, then gun tight, if you think about it, what's other gun tights from Madden 23 that were really, really, really powerful? Uh, Washington and I believe the other one was the Jets playbook, okay? So those were two that had pretty good tight sets, but they weren't as good as Detroit's tight because Detroit's tight had, um, I think, a, a special two or three different passing plays that were unique. So if those two or three different passing plays are no longer in tight, again, just like with tight offset, it changes, um, it changes what the meta is going to be from a playbook perspective and from a formation perspective. However... One of the things that the competitive community has started to shift to, especially if you're a bunch player um, and you run a lot of bunch, is you've seen this movement from basically having a bunch formation and a tight formation combined together. We saw this significantly um, develop in Madden 22 towards the end of the season, and we saw that continue into Madden 23. Into Madden 23. So my general hypothesis is I think the bunch offset to the tight slots halfback week, that kind of combination of an offensive scheme is probably going to be the best way to play offense because you've got bunch offset and, um, and which bunch offset gives you that trips, that trips formation style, be, uh, the ability to attack with flooding concepts and seam wheels and all that stuff. But then you can go over to tight slots, which has uh, some of the best man beating posts and has had some of the best man beating posts for the last two to three years uh, in Madden. So my hypothesis or general speculation about what the meta offense is going to be is I think you're going to see Cincinnati's playbook uh, be the best offense in Madden, just in light of the conversations that we've been having uh, as a community, just in terms of, again, this is just me watching videos um, on YouTube and trying to take, you know, a piece of information here, a piece of information here, fuse them together uh, to try to form a general hypothesis of what is actually going to be the most effective tactic available to us in Madden 24. And from what I've heard so far, I also heard, I think in general, that corner routes are no longer as effective as they were last year, uh, which I think is pretty, pretty significant. Um, because like, for example, last year, one of the most money plays that you could call is bench. Well, if corner routes aren't consistent against man or they're not as effective against zone for whatever reason, then now what's the best route in the game? Well, the best route in the game becomes the post route. Um, probably. And so if the best route in the game is the post route, what formation in Madden uh, and what playbook in Madden has the best post routes in the game? Well, there's really two. Uh, one is trips tight end uh, because you have curl flat, PA slot corner, Pat Swain, you have all those different post routes. But the other one, and I think maybe even better than trips tight end, is the tight slots halfback weak formation in the Cincinnati because you have post wall drag, mesh spot, and flood all three different styles of post routes that can accomplish a lot of different things for your offense, all the while still having the structure of a tight formation that allows you to have really good um, tools to be able to beat man and zone. So my general like two cents right now, if I was speculating, what's going to be the best offense in Madden 24? It's going to be Cincinnati playbook, and you're going to see a combination of bunch, offset, uh, tight slots halfback week, and potentially, I think these are all still in uh, Cincinnati, uh, tight Y off and um, bunch halfback strong, I believe is that other formation that was has been in Cincinnati for years. So to me, that playbook is the most equipped 
uh, to be able to attack man zone match at a high level. And I think a lot of the competitive community is already familiar enough with that playbook that I think you're going to see if you're a bunch player or if you're a tight slots player, you're probably going to want to be in Cincinnati. And we know that the majority of the community is pretty comfortable in bunch and tight, i.e. what happened last year. So that's just my two cents. We're starting to actually get a lot of uh, information just to, uh, with people's impressions on gameplay and stuff like that. So make sure that you're on Twitter. Make sure that you're on the YouTube channel. Make sure you go subscribe to Wayweather and uh, Civil if you're not already. I'm assuming you're probably already subscribed to them as they're two of the best creators in our community. And that way you're going to be able to just get all the information and start to at least mentally prepare, even if you haven't got the beta yet, mentally prepare for some of the subtle shifts that are going to be uh, taking place in Madden 24. So thanks for watching the video. Again, all this is speculation, but just kind of my two cents based off of some of the initial beta impression videos uh, that have been released.